behind it, the car behind it, and a, a pickup truck behind it, and the pickup truck got pissed, and he drove on the other side of the road, almost up around that curve, and I'm um, trying to get around him, and so I was trying to film it because I thought for sure there was going to be an accident. So there's two combinations of things, there's a combination of things going on here now. There's people that are hot and mad. They're mad because it's been over 90 degrees, or it's been above 85, we'll say, for a while now. It's drought, it's hot, and um, it just makes people irritable. My mother taught me that when I was young. Especially when it gets 92, people get crazy. That's what she says. And you know something, she's right. Uh, but this year, on top of the shutdown, which already had people in a strange mood, a strange mood because they're trying to get groceries, they're trying to provide for their families, they're trying to get health care and are afraid to go anywhere, so many things. Um, and they're in fr be feeling feeling like they're having their necks stepped on by the by the government, um, told that uh, destroying their small businesses, places that will never open again. And they're in a bad mood. They're in a bad mood, and well, they should be because they don't know what they're going to do next. And um, and so that's that's playing a part out here too. And there's been there's been news reports, numerous news reports, on the increase in traffic accidents and speeding. Uh, because people are getting goofy in the head. You can't do this to a country and expect it to come out okay. Um, some of us can come up here and God, thank God that I'm able to and, you know, go hiking in the woods and try to forget about everything. But, um, what, what's, what you're seeing on the roads, that's where it's coming out. That's where you can see it. So, people are just nuts. I'm not sure how long places like the Adirondacks are going to be able to, I heard somebody say, are going to be able to withstand holding off the crazy mobs and the horrors of what's happening in the world. I heard somebody say, well, those crazy mobs won't be coming up here because they know we've got guns. And, uh, you know, really? Because I drove into Saranac Lake and you got a bunch of crazy ass liberals that are ready to take down that town and you're gonna die from within just like just like America is as a whole and uh, it's the girl at the oh travel the I don't know Chamber of Commerce kind of thing a young woman um, and I said you know I really object you know how did no, I didn't that's not how I started out how did you how did they decide to put these signs up on every pole throughout your downtown district that say that racism is um, a public health crisis, and I said, did, did the whole town vote on that? She said, yes, they did. I said, well, I think that's terrible. And she said, oh, you you support racism? And I was like, and so I I, I just I just let her have it, let her let her have what I was thinking. Uh, I didn't swear. I didn't. I you know anything like that, but I said, no, I, I said, I don't even know anybody who really engages in racism. Where I come from, the place that I see, and the places I've traveled, I don't see any problems between uh, races. I see a ton of interracial marriages, I see people getting along just fine, and America has historically been the greatest country on earth for bringing together different ethnicities, races, uh, people from all over the world, and making it so that they can live in a free world. No, no other country on earth has been able to do that, and every one of those banners up there is a black eye for America and what she stands for. And um, so she just wanted to kill me by the end of that. She was just, you know, oh, she's a big fat white girl, you know. and. Uh, why do I say white? Because let's distinguish. We're going to distinguish everybody's everybody's color. Let's do it. And why did I say fat? Because what is there with women, women that are fat? Me, I, I went through menopause. I, I didn't spend my life fat. Uh, I was always thin. Uh, and I had a problem after menopause, get, keeping my weight off. But these young girls that just carry their big asses around at like, you know, 200, 300 pounds, 
and just expect everybody to say, it's okay to be fat, you know. Well, yeah, but why are you like that, you know? Is it your birth control pills doing that to you? Screwing up your metabolism? Is it, uh, is, is it the fact that you can't control what's going in your mouth? Uh, you know, obesity. Obesity is a public health crisis, not racism. And it really is. Uh, and, you know, that's what I wanted to say to her, but that would have been discriminatory, I'm sure. So, um, anyway, uh, getting closer to civilization, getting closer to thinking about how much I hate what's going on and how much I hate what's going, going on with the country. And is there anything I can do to help it? I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to retreat? Do I want to retreat and hide until I die? Retreat into the Adirondacks and just never be heard from again, you know? That's what, that's what, that's what it makes you want to do, what's going on now. Oh, well. Get the sun on my face. <sighs> ease on down, ease on down the road. Ease on down, ease on down the road.